Okay. When we talking about gospel hip hop, we talking about the word of God. Absolutely. When you saying Christian hip hop, a lot of people that that's in the Christian hip hop community, they just say God, they say Jesus, they don't really give no scripture. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They don't. Mm. They, don't they don't give you no word. I, I need like get, that. They need to I get like that, that word. Yeah, we need to get that word <laughs> up in you. <laughs> Get that word. Let's go. <laughs> but yeah. I love it. Yeah. Okay, so gospel hip hop is gospel not the hip-hop. same as Christian or holy nah. hip hop. Mm-hmm. You know, that's an interesting point you just made because a lot of times people think when you mention God or you say, Oh, you know, I'm spiritual and all these things, we really think we're all on the same page, right. but really we're not. What God you talking about? What God are you talking about, who, sir? Who you serve? Who God are you <laughs> serving? Okay, because there are several of them. Yeah, because I know one God of this, uh, this world that ain't God. There's not. He wants the to God. be God. He wants to be him. <laughs> but, he, but he can't, you know what I'm saying? So are you talking about that God or are you talking no, about the God? No, sir, you cannot be God, okay? You're not my God. Which God even are you though, talking about? Okay, a lot of us are serving that God, though, and yeah. we don't realize it. Don't and realize so uh, I think that it's important to note the difference and to differentiate what you really stand for. I think a lot of people are sliding by by using certain safe terms, I call them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember when Whitney Houston was alive and she used to always say, and, and you hear artists all the time when they go on stage and they get these awards and they say, oh, I wanna give a shout out to my God. I thank God for this blessing and blah, 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 blah. It's like, what God are you talking about? But Whitney Houston always said, my Lord and personal Lord savior, savior, Jesus Christ. Christ. She made it, clear. made it clear. And I always ag- ad- admired her for standing up and being bold enough to make it plain hey man, the to. God that she serves. Got to. You got to. Right. So. You got to. That's, a, that's a deep conversation. I mean, that's a deep conversation, that's a deep right? Conversation. And it's because we we even start seeing the church now that, like, even in music, yeah. you know, a lot of the gospel songs and, and Christian songs that are out now, yeah. they're kind of safe. Yeah. They're crossover songs. Yeah. So it's like, if you don't serve this God, you can still play this music. Yeah. And there's no differentiation between who specifically you're paying homage to in your songs. And I thought that being who we are was about bringing light to who that God is. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what so I I'm not the only one. Okay. I'm not the only one. I thought I was on this planet no, by no, myself, no. man. Because no, I go, people get mad at me if I start talking about this, but I don't, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like a lot of these artists nowadays, even in the mm-hmm. uh, the gospel community, like yeah. you said, they just yeah. playing it safe. Yeah. And they're not. They're not giving, and this is why it's, it's hard for me to write music now, because I gotta be in my word, okay. because I gotta give them the word. I can't just okay. give them what I think, because you okay. know, back in the day like when that. you, when I used to write music, mm-hmm. it would be, you know, in the world to be a smoke session and write music. Uh, it would be a smoke session. It would be a smoke session and you write music <laughs> and it, it just whatever was on your heart. Mm-hmm. Now I got to say what's on God's heart. Okay. And sometimes hearing God ain't, it ain't always easy. So yeah. You got to wait some yeah. seasons. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So, I yeah. admire you for that, and and God is going to honor your heart. Man. Uh, for that's again, I can't tell you enough. I know I said it a million times the last time you were here, but I am so impressed with the heart of conviction that you have. Hey, Amen. For because that is rare. It is. I mean, when I tell you, it could be very debilitating to watch. Um, and I know some people say, oh, it doesn't take all that. And it's not that deep. It's not that serious. And it's like, it's not that deep or serious, but it is so necessary though, to be very plain about what it is that you do. And I don't know why it's so hard for us to be embraced. Well, I do know why it's so hard, but isn't it interesting how people like to persecute us for repping a certain type of God, but yet everybody else can rep any other God and it's not yes. rattling anyone's cages. That's cause Isn't we, it interesting? That's, that is very interesting. I, I never understood that. Like, like you can talk about Muhammad, Buddha, Confucius. You could talk about Satan worshiping and all these other kind of demonic things that you do. But yet, as soon as you mention Yeshua, or Jesus for those sure persons. Hamashiach. Hamashiach. Okay. So you know, as soon as you mention him, you oh, it's it's a, you're in trouble. I'm yeah. like, well, okay. It must be some power it in this man. It must be some something power in this man because you don't like this okay. man. You don't like this man. So I know you ain't gonna like me because Ooh. I'm in his image. Listen. So you ain't gonna like me. Okay. They ain't gonna like they ain't gonna like me. And you know, 
I want to I want to talk about my album later on too. Okay, so, so we're gonna want, talk about the album. Talk about we're gonna, gonna talk, talk about the album. So this segment is the, my bodybuilder segment. This is the opportunity that we get to kind of build the body, mm. right? The body is not just your physical being, but it's all it's it, we're three dimensional, right? So mind, soul, and spirit, right? right? Mind, soul, spirit, mind, body, spirit. Mm -hmm. However you want to break it up, the soul is your mind it's your consciousness it's your heart it's your emotions your feelings then you have a spiritual person and you have this flesh Amen. those are the things that drive those the soul so we have to protect the soul with Amen. the spirit with so the spirit, spirit is warring against our soul Come and on. our body Come on, you teach it you understand what i'm saying teach it. and so in order for us to be strengthened in that you know we have to do bodybuilders and so this this segment is very important to me because i work out and I gotta be honest, when I go to the gym, there are certain areas of my body I like to work on better than others uh, or more. All, you know what I'm saying? We got those yeah, favorite body yeah, parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's where we are spiritually. We like to work on those things that people see. Mm. But we don't wanna work on those things they can't see. that people can't see. Like that Our attitude, that heart, Come on, posture. that mindset. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> You feel me? I got you. <laughs> so where we are today is that we have to strengthen the entire body. That means everything that your body encompasses, you have to be willing to strengthen it. Have to. That means you got to die to yourself. You got to be willing to sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you just made a statement and we're going to talk about it, but you made a statement about you can't just write all the time because you need to study. You need to study. You to study. You can't Who is just, disciplined enough to do that? Yeah, you, you, if you if you're just writing all the time, just uh, and as I start to listen to a lot of these artists, and I'm like, oh, I don't hear no, I don't hear no word, God. I don't hear no scripture. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I just, yeah. I just hear them. Mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. it's a lot of testimonies. Okay, mm -hmm, we got to get past mm -hmm. your testimony. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We want to hear the gospels, not your testimony. I hear that. You know what I'm saying? We, we need to hear the word. I hear that. People need to be delivered and set free. Listen. We don't need to be hearing about what you go got like, going on all the time. Wow. It's good to tell your testimony to let people know yeah, where you came from, yeah, but yeah. you shouldn't be testimonying for ten years. I mean, ten. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, something going on. You got to get right one day. <laughs> You gotta get the people this word, man. <laughs> Woo! Shaquille! In the next voice, y'all remember, y'all heard it right here. This is the next voice up and coming, I'm telling you. We'll be right back. <laughs> be done over and over and over and over and over then surely you'll check nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're correctly buckled in the back seat sounds good honey check today at nhtsa.gov slash the right seat brought to you by the national highway traffic safety administration and the act council one in seven americans will struggle with addiction during their lifetime want to know how you can help Go to heretolisten.com for tips and tools to help turn addiction around. A public service announcement brought to you by the Ad Council. Hi, I'm Danica Patrick. Watching my nieces grow, play, and learn is amazing, but not every child gets to be carefree. One in six kids in the U.S. are hungry. This breaks my heart, and it's something that Feeding America is working to change. Each year, the Feeding America network of food banks rescues billions of pounds of good food that would have gone to waste and gives it to families in need. To help, visit feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. When I was little, I didn't talk for a long time. I was sensitive to lights and sounds, so I built secret hiding places where they couldn't get in. Sometimes, I did the same things over and over, until one day, I found out I had autism. My family got me help. Slowly, I learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at AutismSpeaks.org slash signs. Brought to you by Autism Speaks and the Ad Council. Whether it's the weekend or a weekday, there's always something sensational happening on SSNATL.com. Radio not dumbed down since day one. You use Tearless Baby Shampoo because it's gentle on your baby's eyes. You make sure his toys don't have any sharp edges. You always test the bath water to make sure it's not too hot. You taught her what to do when the smoke alarm goes off. 
You make sure she wears a helmet when she rides her bicycle. You put on his sunscreen, even when he's embarrassed his friends will see. You do so much to keep your child safe. But are you using the right car seat for your child? Is your child facing the right way in the car seat? Is the seat too big or too small? How do you know when it's time to move your child into the next type of seat? Car crashes are a leading killer of children ages 1 to 13. Protect your child's future at every stage of life. For information on the right seat for your child, visit safercar.gov slash the right seat. That's safercar.gov slash the right seat. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Having trouble finding Connor's middle school? Would you like directions? No. Why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Finding lowest airfare to Istanbul. No, I'm, I'm tired of fighting with him over homework. Home walk restaurant. Need a review? No, I need help. He's very smart, but his mind wanders. He's disorganized. Organized. I think I understand. Oh, good. Finding best potatoes for french fries. No! Russet. Fingerling. Yukon uh, Gold. Why don't you understand me? Sorry, I was trying to show how Connor feels every day. Frustrating, isn't it? Redirecting to understood.org. For the one in five kids with learning and attention issues, this is what life can feel like. Explore understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues designed to help your child thrive in school and in life. Understood.org, because understanding is everything. Brought to you by understood.org and the Ad Council. No word in the English language is less convincing than probably. Are you sure we should get matching tattoos on our first date? Sure. Um, we'll probably stay together. Probably? <laughs> it's been 23 minutes since I ate. <laughs> I can probably swim. Uh, you should wait 30 minutes. Mm, okay, now tell me what to do. Cannonball! Cramp! Oh, I have a cramp. I can probably hit the green from here. Probably. Can I get a mulligan? Ready to go? Hey, are you sure you're okay to drive? Yeah, I'm pretty sober. Yeah, I'm probably okay. Probably okay isn't okay, especially when it comes to drinking and driving. If you're drinking, call a cab, a car, or a friend. Buzz driving is drunk driving. A message brought to you by NHTSA and the Ad Council. Hey, 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 we're back. In the building, talking from a theme today, made from scratch. Made from scratch. What does that mean exactly? We're in the building with Shaquille Thomas, Amen. gospel hip-hop artist, Amen. servant Amen. of the Most High God, Amen. Yah, Yahweh, God of Israel, Isaac and Jacob. Um, we love this man because we honor what he represents. And um, as I promised, we're going to go into our vocabulary word. Before we go on our lay on the sofa moment, we're going to be dealing with some of his uh, songs that he's going to be presenting to us. I'm excited about. I'm going to talk about his new album coming up uh, in a few moments as well. But before we do that, we have to get into this new vocabulary word. Come on. Y'all ready? Let's go. D today's word is quiddity. Q-U-I-D-D-I-T-Y. It refers to the essence of a thing that is whatever makes something the type of thing that it is. Quiddity can also refer to a small and usually trivial complaint or criticism or to a quirk or eccentricity in someone's behavior. I love it. I'm going to say it again. Quiddity. Q-U-I-D-D-I-T-Y. We're going to see if we can use it in a sentence today. It refers to the essence of a thing that is whatever makes something the type of thing that it is. Also referring to a small and usually trivial complaint or criticism or to a quirk or eccentricity in someone's behavior. You want to go first? You want me to go first? No, you go first. I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good so one. So I, I had a conversation with my best friend today about the quiddity nature of this guy I was talking to that irks me. Mm. Nature. That's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I don't know if I'm correct. It sounded good, it though. Sounded good. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded real good. <laughs> Y'all want to go for it out here on Instagram, Facebook, you guys? Y'all want to try it? Let's let's go. Use it in a sentence. Mm. 
You are smart. You are kind. You are important. <laughs> you want to pass? Mm, I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. Quiddity. Okay. We need to be reflecting the quiddity of God. Oh, ew, ew, <laughs> ew, ew. I like it. You like that one? It sound good it to me. Good. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Yes. We need to be reflecting the quiddity of God. Of God. Ooh. The quiddity of God. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. I love it. I love it. So quiddity, we're going to use that in a sentence. We're going to expand our vernacular and see if we can sound smart to our friends. Uh, we also want to be very cognizant of how we use our words because words are very powerful. I am very, very, very much of an advocate for communication. Amen. And you can't communicate without studying, can't communicate without understanding and comprehension of different words. And so that's why I do this each and every week. So we're expanding our body builder by building our ability to communicate. Mm. That being said, our theme today made from scratch. I have so many things to say about this because when you think about made from scratch, uh, for the first time in my entire life, I cooked an entire Thanksgiving meal. Made from scratch. Made from scratch. Oh, wow. Everything was made from scratch. The mac and cheese was made from scratch. The stuffing was made from scratch. The cornbread was made from scratch. So Not boxed. Ham. I just went in, right? Went I wanted to challenge myself because I was getting ready for my husband. You know what I'm saying? I was like, honey, what you want to eat? <laughs> You and the kids, what y'all want for, for Christmas? Okay. Mommy, we want you to cook. Okay, I could do this. So I challenged myself. Usually it's like a dish or something. So I challenged myself to make everything from scratch. Number one, I don't like processed foods and I wanted to be healthy and all that. And I want to be the one to determine what goes into the food. As I was cooking, it reminded me mm -hmm. of how God made us mm. from scratch. He had a blueprint. Come on. And he had a prototype, which was himself, <laughs> but he still made us from scratch. You, oh. You're in my bag now. Oh. <laughs> you're in my bag. Come on, come on, come on. What you got? <laughs> <laughs> Let's I, I go. Just, I think it's beautiful how uh, how God made us from scratch. You know, he made us from the dirt. Mm -hmm. And then he breathed himself into us. Mm, so. That's good. So that, that, that soul that we got, that's the breath of God. Mm -hmm. And that's why we got to protect it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I so it. I it. It, it's, it's so deep. Like the when you when you realize who you are mm. in God, wow. can't nothing pull you out. And that's wow. why like I've been I've been separating myself from myself wow. first. Wow. Yeah. You know, my old mindset, my old thinking, because I got to mm -hmm. remember that when God made me, he made me a certain way, not the image that I put on. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, I clothed myself with the world and now I'm being stripped. Now I'm being stuff are being taken off like my mind, my heart, mm -hmm. like my, my life, people, places and things. So um I just think it's so it, it's just so powerful, like how God made us from scratch. Amen. It's so deep. Like when you realize who you are and where you come from, it's just like you be like, Wow, like I gotta get back to my to my yeah. original nature. Yeah. 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 Wow. Man. I mean, listen, when people give you something that is powerful and potent at the same time, like not everyone can speak something that resonates in your soul, that resonates in your being. Um, and when you talk, again, I'm just so amazed at how much God comes out. Um, some people talk haphazardly, and I feel like sometimes I say things aimlessly even though it's not the case, because I'm very intentional. I, it, it probably will tell you, if I don't have anything to say, I won't come on the show. Mm. I'm not just gonna get up here and use this microphone just to be heard. Just be heard. I have to know that what I'm saying is purposeful. You know what I mean? And if I don't feel like I have it, you know, even when it comes to preaching, I, I, I do my 40 days of gratitude every year. And I remember this past year, this year, I was teaching and one morning I told him, I just named my message, I don't have it. And I told him, I said, I don't have it today. I don't have a word for you today. So we're just gonna sit on here and we're gonna worship together. Cause you don't wanna bring out you. I right, I don't wanna talk about wanna how I'm God. feeling per se, even Amen. though sometimes that's necessary, but I do wanna make sure that what I say has intention and purpose. 
um, and that we are not aimlessly saying and doing things that don't point people back to the one who matters. And that's God. That's Yah, Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? Um, Jehovah Jireh. You know, all Jehovah these different Nisi. names, but who he is is Yahweh. Yahweh you know we talk about oh God is this there are so many names and I, I say this all the time like this language that we speak is not even an ancient language mm. it's a borrowed language it is English is borrowed you know what I mean everything that we say in our our vernacular is borrowed from another language Greek Latin mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying Hebrew Greek uh, so what do we what do we have to go back to? The origin. Speaking your tongue. Arama Aramaic. <laughs> we got to start studying. You know what I mean? And so we got to start understanding because a lot of things that we read, even in scripture, yeah. have a different context in English than it does in the original script. So we have to be able to communicate effectively. What is the word really saying? <sighs> So we're on our lay on the sofa moment when we come back. We're going to talk about this album. We're going to talk about this heart of this amazing man of God that's sitting in front of with this shirt. We're going to talk about this brand. Amen. Just a servant. And we're going to shout wifey out when we come back. Right after this. <laughs> Y'all keep it locked. <laughs> I said we want to win a Super Bowl, and I believe we will. From IamSecond.com, we came close, but never really did win that championship. Former NFL head coach Tony Dungy. At the end of my sixth year, I was fired, and it was one of the biggest disappointments of my life. Next year, I'm in Indianapolis, get to the play, get knocked out again. But the next couple of years, it's the same. I understand, Colts are never going to win. I did wonder why didn't it pan out the way I thought it would. Dr. Phil here. You know, I help people solve difficult problems every day, but one problem has me stumped. Childhood hunger. Nearly 16 million children in America struggle. Luckily, the Feeding America network of local food banks collects surplus food, giving hope to hungry children and their families. But they need your help. Join me in supporting Feeding America and your local food bank at feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Melissa from Michigan. I work an extra part-time job serving lunch at my child's school, but I still can't afford to put food on our table. Daniel from California. Choosing whether to pay the rent or pay to fix the car to get to work doesn't leave us with much at all. Now we can't even pay for meals. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. This is big business. The American Station Greater vibes and an awesome mix. It's what weekends should strive to be. So relax. We we'll take it from here. Not down since day one. SSN ATL. Already coaching? Everybody's coach these days. I get it. Life coach, relationship coach, financial coach. But you want to work with integrity. So get certified and do it the right way. Or add coaching to the work that you already do. Get a cohort or take classes at your own pace. We have knowledgeable instructors. We have a life-changing curriculum. Go to academyofcreativecoaching.com to learn more. All right, we're talking from a thing they made from scratch. Uh, you heard right before the break, uh, some jewels being dropped by Shaquille Thomas. We're in the building with our gospel hip-hop artist, man, servant. So many roles that he plays. 
Rose, um, before we do, we on our on our lay on a sofa moment. Uh, when we come back from our next break, we are going to be in our break committee. That's where we get to talk about politics and you know current events. You know, we got to talk mm-hmm. about that. So we're going to talk about the voting. We're going to talk about voting for Shaquille. He got some things coming up. We're going to be uh, highlighting as well. Uh, but before we do that, I want to get into these roles that he played. Um, one of the reasons that I named, well, one of them, God gave it to me. God gave me today's theme, made from scratch. Something from the necessary blueprint. Uh, when you make something without it already being ready made, it's almost like uh, furniture that you have to assemble yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't come already all put together. Right. It has to be assembled. Um, it takes a little more effort, time, and intellect and ingenuity than it would if you just open the box and it's already there and you just add water to it, right? Um, that's how I feel about your ministry. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? Uh, it takes more time, you know, for things that didn't come from a large platform. And I'm going to that's your story. Uh, you have a lot of people that stood on other people's shoulders, you know, even in the rap game. You know, you got Jay-Z. I feel like he would never be the artist that he is without a Tupac and a Biggie. Right. Biggie specifically. Um, and had they not passed, I just don't think his voice would have been as loud. Uh, I've always said that. I feel that way about a lot of different people. Uh, I think that uh, Sierra would not be who she was if Aaliyah hadn't passed. I feel like she kind of took Beyonce that. Beyonce too. Beyonce. Yeah, if it's it, you know what I mean um, and, and the list goes on and on and so when you have to build from the ground up how difficult is that how challenging let me just say the word challenging has that been it's it's been real challenging because like I said coming from the world where my old Instagram Mm-hmm. I had like six, seven thousand. Mm-hmm. Then going back down, <laughs> start from scratch because mm-hmm. God's telling me like okay. get ties with this with this page because it's connected to all this other stuff. And mm-hmm. God had me like and this was before I I really got into the into the mm-hmm. church. I I just on my spirit, but now I'm going back and thinking I'm like that was God mm-hmm. building me, rebranding me to be stripped from what I thought I knew. Mm-hmm. What uh, where I was going um, to get to where I am now, mm-hmm. and I still haven't even reached to where God has me. But right. you know, it it's, it takes um, fasting, praying, and serving, and, and and understanding who you are and your purpose. But it's been so challenging that you know, even in the even in the Christian community, you have people who are in competition with you, Gosh, competing, right? I'm competing Ooh. with you, brother, sister. Ooh. You know what I'm saying, like. And, and and they and they they bring that from the world, right? And they right. It, you got to realize when we're in the body of Christ, we have the same adversary, exactly. the same common adversary. It's like yeah. I'm I'm not your enemy, right? You, the the devil's your enemy, you know. Exactly. Satan's your enemy, Lucifer's your enemy. And we're fighting together, we should be building mm-hmm. together. But it's so much competition and so much division, yeah. and that's why people are they're so selfish in the body of Christ right, nowadays, right, right. and it's all about them. And that's mm-hmm. why I had to separate myself from people, even in the Christian exactly. community. Of course, and I wouldn't say no names. I had to separate myself from some of these young folks. And then some of these young folks get a fire and a zeal of God mm-hmm. and they just jump out there that mm-hmm. they're ready with no covering. Mm-hmm. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> You mean you have that? You need that? You need a covering. <laughs> you need a covering. Because Let me tell you. It's important to have a covering. Okay. You know, somebody that, that can cover Accountability. you. Accountability. Yeah, somebody cover yeah. you in the spirit when you yeah. go places yeah. like, you know, yeah. Yeah. uh I, I really want I really want to give a big shout out to my, my cousin. Father, Come my spiritual, spiritual mother, dad. Uh, apostle, chief apostle, color, and apostle Jackie McCullough. I want to give a big. Uh, they have been the the two biggest inspirations in my life. Amen. You know, even watching their marriage, and and, and see, we need wow. to see examples. Wow! 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 We need to see examples yes. more in the body of Christ. Yes. You know I mean? and, and yes. It, it's so, I and, it. and that's why, like, you know, I have to give them the shout out because being. Under them and learning, them stripping mm-hmm. us and uh, them giving us the word and, and the mm-hmm. truth and the honest opinions, getting rebuked, getting sat down. It's a lot of things that we don't understand in the spirit. Yeah. And they teach us and they're 
training us so we can go out and do what we're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. You know, and I and they're like they're like the, like, you know, wow. those my those my my mother. Kudos to the yeah. McCulloughs and uh, you know, and your heart for being submitted because as much as it takes to cover someone else, it also takes an equal amount of mission um, to adhere to the leadership of that coverage. Facts. You see what I'm saying? Like a lot of times you say you want something, but then when you get it, it's like, oh, but I don't want you to tell me about this. You know what I mean? So that means that the direction that you're taking in your life is submitted to being corrected, mm-hmm. uh, being rebuked and disciplined in Amen. some fashion. You like know you what do I mean? your children. Right, right, right. That's not the stuff that we like. But no. that but let me tell you, those are the main reasons that I've always wanted. And and many people have something to say about the person that covers me. Shout out to my covering apostle, uh, B. Dwayne Harden. We don't always see eye to eye, you know. Of course. We had those moments where we're like, No, I don't agree with this and you know, God knows we don't agree on a lot of stuff. <laughs> but I respect who he is. God, I respect his voice in the kingdom and I respect the anointing and the assignment of his life. Amen. You know what I'm Amen. saying? And the fact that out of all the people that had an opportunity to cover me were not willing to do it means a lot to me because I went years without one. No cover. But I was submitted to the one that pretty much kind of was there. But it's like at some point, I always believe I'm going to follow what God says no matter what. Amen. So, my covering saying one thing, God is saying something different. I'm always gonna go with what God says. Period. You know, and that's a big thing to do. And, but you know, too, that's a that's a good it's in that. <laughs> who who hear God correctly? Right, 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 right. <laughs> if my covering says something else, and God says something else, and I'm like, hold on, who 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 do I who do I need to listen Absolutely. to? Absolutely. Because maybe maybe I might not be hearing God clearly. You're right. Maybe hearing myself mm-hmm. and not saying that mm-hmm. just happening with you but, right. but, but and it, it has, happens it has before that's a great point that's you a, made yeah. because previously I, I was hearing and even though it was a necessary moment I, did. I left my ministry the ministry I was in to make a long story here the Lord sent me back that's good you see what I'm saying and I went back I humbled myself. I told him how I felt and he was he was able to embrace and we were able to come back together but there was some God was doing in me and it's evident now like I don't know if I, this is what I this is what I go by I don't know if I always hear God correctly all the time 100% I'm I'm probably 100% I don't <laughs> not all the time that's true but what I rest in is that even when I'm wrong he's going to redirect my path amen even if I miss it with the quickness, you understand? <laughs> so because I'm yielded and submitted to him, he's going to always keep me in that space where I am yielded enough to hear correction um, and speak of correction. You now have a role that you're covering people. You're a father now. You're a husband now. Amen. And as a servant, you're not just a servant to the kingdom, but you're now a servant, a servant to your family at home. So congratulations on the marriage. Amen. On little man, what's his name? Malachi. Malachi, I love it. Prophet Malachi. Uh, Come on. Uh, <laughs> uh, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to say about Malachi? Man, Malachi is <laughs> I, I realize, you know, uh, when you when you name your children out the Bible, you gotta be careful. Uh-huh. But but I didn't actually name him. Don't make a long story short. Um father had told me he said when y'all make when y'all get sons name Ooh. him travis and i'm Ooh. like uh-uh okay no i'm not naming <laughs> him n- nothing that's dealing with what i understand with names oh. so when god gave me his name i was just like oh lord i see oh, really uh, me, lord. wow 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 <laughs> really go do this to me so, uh but yeah malachi that's my that's my baby that's my baby you know he'll be three in january wow three, man yeah. come through yeah. so when you made a decision to get married you made a decision to be a servant to your family to your wife what's your wife's name deja 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 i love you deja, deja. yeah i, know about that. <laughs> I love that song i love this song i can't 
can't help but to think about the movie. <laughs> Deja! Yeah. I just think of I'm screaming yep. Deja in that movie, Higher Learning. Deja oh, Simone. Come on, Deja Simone. Deja Shout Simone. out, Deja Simone. Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. Absolutely. Amen. Thank you so much for uh, yielding your husband to us this morning. I better have. And I mean, listen, better have. I mean, let's talk about the half. Let's talk about that. I better have. I love yeah, Where'd you guys she, meet? At church. Uh, so awesome. I, I saw her on Instagram. It was so funny. <laughs> I, was, I saw her on Instagram. I just got to tell everybody this funny story. People probably going to laugh at me. But, uh, <laughs> I had texted her. I seen her. She was getting her hair done. Uh -huh. And I was like, I texted her in the DM. Shawty swing my way. Right? Ah! So, <laughs> so wait, watch this. Get but she out. responds back. Show look good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm like, no, I'm serious. Like, no, that's like, hilarious. So then I, came, I invited her to my church. That was the first time I seen Get her walk through the door. Out. Yeah. Ever really? Since then. Yep, yep. Ever since I then. love that. Yep. They're going to church, same church together. So yeah. it's okay to slide in the DMs, y'all. Okay you might, it DM. might be okay to just got to come with the right intentions. You got to accept the intentions. Got to be right. Amen. That is hilarious. I love that. Yes. I love that. Oh man, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. How long y'all been married now? Uh, six months. December 11th. Oh man, months. it seems yeah. like happened last year. Yeah, it was this year. This year, awesome. Congratulations. Thank woo you. woo. People are still getting married in 2022. They are. We are going to be in our street committee when we come back. Election, Herschel versus Rock or not. What say ye the people right after this? are pretty dumb, but if you decide to drink and drive underage, you could lose your license and your freedom. Learn more at ultimatepartyfoul.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. You don't usually get a stock tip from a 16-year-old, but I'm here to tell you about a different kind of stock. It's called Better Futures. Social change that's not about making money. Instead, you invest to help students like me go to college. This is beyond a simple donation. It's the opportunity for America to invest in its kids and take an active stake in the future of the country. The return on your investment isn't money. What you get back is not protected our potential. So one day that potential can grow up to become surgeons and architects, executives and engineers. People who can change the future just by being a part of it. My name is Alicia and I am your dividend. Invest in better futures with UNCF. Visit uncf.org slash invest. A mind is a terrible thing to waste, but a wonderful thing to invest in. A public service announcement brought to you by UNCF and the Ad Council. He was the heart of your family, and he taught you our history. He helped you fit your first flat. He was the best backyard DJ around. And every time he'd tell a story, he'd own the room. But now more than ever, he may feel alone. Today, older adults and their loved ones are struggling to connect in a time when connection has never been more important. But there is something we can do. Embrace our older loved ones through StoryCorps Connect. With StoryCorps Connect, you can honor seniors remotely with an interview about their life. Every interview will be archived at the Library of Congress, becoming part of American history, so that years from now, future generations can listen in. All right, Grandpa, what's one piece of advice you have for me? Just three words, sweetheart. Live with the man that had the best stories still has plenty of stories to tell. So connect virtually and share the conversation of a lifetime at StoryCorpConnect.org slash AARP. Connect, honor, share. StoryCorp Connect. A message from AARP, StoryCorps, and the Ad Council. You use Tearless Baby Shampoo because it's gentle on your baby's eyes. You make sure his toys don't have any sharp edges. You always test the bath water to make sure it's not too hot. You taught her what to do when the smoke alarm goes off. He makes sure she wears a helmet when she rides her bicycle. You put on his sunscreen, even when he's embarrassed his friends will see. You do so much to keep your child safe. But are you using the right car seat for your child? Is your child facing the right way in the car seat? Is the seat too big or too small? How do you know when it's time to move your child into the next type of seat? Car crashes are a leading killer of children ages 1 to 13. 
Protect your child's future at every stage of life. For information on the right seat for your child, visit safercar.gov slash the right seat. That's safercar.gov slash the right seat. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Why is Con having trouble focusing in school? Having trouble finding Connor's middle school? Would you like directions? No, why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Finding lowest airfare to Istanbul. No, I'm, I'm tired of fighting with him over homework. Home walk restaurant. Need a review? No, I need help. He's very smart, but his mind wanders. He's disorganized. I think I understand. Oh, God. Finding best potatoes for french fries. No. Russet. Fingerling. Yukon uh, Gold. Why don't you understand me? Sorry, I was trying to show how Connor feels every day. Frustrating, isn't it? Redirecting to understood.org. For the one in five kids with learning and attention issues, this is what life can feel like. Explore understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues designed to help your child thrive in school and in life. Understood.org, because understanding is everything. Brought to you by Understood.org and the Ad Council. You don't usually get a stock tip from a 16-year-old, but I'm here to tell you about a different kind of stock. It's called Better Futures, a stock for social change that's not about making money. Instead, you invest to help students like me go to college. This is beyond a simple donation. It's the opportunity for America to invest in its kids and take an active stake in the future of the country. The return on your investment isn't money. What you get is knowing you protected our potential. So one day, that potential can grow up to become surgeons and architects, executives and engineers. People change the future just by being a part of it. My name is Alicia, and I am your dividend. Invest in better futures with UNCF. Visit uncf.org slash invest. A mind is a terrible thing to waste but a wonderful thing to invest in. A public service announcement brought to you by UNCF and the Ad Council. From the Tampa Bay, I said we want to win a Super Bowl, and I believe we will. From IamSecond.com, we came close, but never really did win that championship. Former NFL head coach Tony Dungy. At the end of my sixth year, I was fired, and it was one of the biggest disappointments of my life. Next year, I'm in Indianapolis, get to the playoffs, but get again. And for the next couple of years, it's the same thing. Everyone is saying Colts are never going to win one. And I did wonder why didn't it pan out the way I thought it would. But I determined that, right first, that everything came below that, including my own desires. The next year, that ended up being our year to, to go to the Super Bowl and win it. And it was a wonderful feeling. Every decision I make, I'm going to make it through the lens of Jesus Christ. And he got us to that ultimate victory. I'm Tony Dungy, and I am second. Coming to Tampa Bay, I said we want to win a Super Bowl, and I believe we will. From IamSecond.com, we came close, but never really did win that championship. Former NFL head coach Tony Dungy. At the end of my sixth year, I was fired, and it was one of the biggest disappointments of my life. Next year, I'm in Indianapolis, get to the playoffs, but get knocked out again. And for the next couple of years, it's the same thing. Everyone is saying Colts are never going to win. And I did wonder why didn't it pan out the way I thought it would. But I determined that I had to have Christ first. And that everything else came below that, including my own desires. The next year, that ended up being our year to, to go to the Super Bowl and win it. And it was a wonderful feeling. Every decision I make, I'm going to make it through the lens of Jesus Christ. And he got us to that ultimate victory. I'm Tony Dungy, and I am second. Because of the Get the sensation. No house station, station network. Sweet strawberry icing. You were strolling along in goodwill when just that mid-century side table and denim jacket, you spotted them nestled in their display case. Miniature donut earrings. Oh, yes. Yes. Your favorite half breakfast pastry, half all dessert food, made into your favorite form of ear candy. Oh, my. Those bejeweled sprinkles have satisfied some unknown hunger within you. Shh. Do you smell that? That's the sugary scent of shopping success. For this is Goodwill. 
And with every item you buy, you fund local job training and more. So go forth. Bring home those donut earrings. And bring home so much good. Community. Goodwill. Bring good home. Brought to you by Goodwill and the Ad Council. He was the heart of your family. And he taught you our history. He helped you fix your first flat. He was the best backyard DJ around. And every time he'd tell a story, he'd own the room. But now more than ever, he may feel alone. Today, older adults and their loved ones are struggling to connect in a time when connection has never been more important. But there is something we can do. Embrace our older loved ones through StoryCorps Connect. With StoryCorps Connect, you can honor seniors remotely with an interview about their life. Every interview will be honored at the Library of Congress, becoming part of American history, so that years from now, future generations can listen in. All right, Grandpa, what's one piece of advice you have for me? Just three words, sweetheart. Live with courage. The man that had the best stories still has plenty of stories to tell. So connect virtually and share the conversation of a lifetime at StoryCorpConnect.org slash AARP. Connect, honor, share. StoryCorps Connect. A message from AARP, StoryCorps, and the Ad Council. Some radio stations do it for culture. We do it for the nation. Always awesome. All the time. And to prove it, we made a mix about it. You want to hear it? Well, here it go. Because we're the nation's urban station. Online. SSNATL.com. Radio 2 Atlanta. ITL Live. iHeart Radio Podcast. And SSNATL.com. Specifically designed with you streaming in mind. Radio that's not dumbed down. That feels good. So we're still in the building talking from a theme from scratch with my guy. Shaquille Thomas in the building. Amen. Yes. We, we are here. Going to our Still going to go to our street committee. We got to talk about voting. On the second hour in our uh, street committee, we will talk about Kanye West's breakdown and good stuff. You know, people want to know what's going on. I have a different opinion about what's going on with Kanye. As You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's see if we're on the same page. So then let me get it back around. But for now, we're going to talk about this voting. We're going to talk about uh, your new album coming up. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about uh, is does voting really matter? But first, let's shout out one of your guests that was on here. Uh, mm -hmm. Ebony Bell Jenkins. She says, congratulations. It's a joy to watch you grow your village. I'm so proud of you. That Amen. is so sweet. She's still on there? If you're still on here, Ebony, a message real quick we're about this we well, we just shot you out ma'am shot you out <laughs> i want to give a shout out to her she uh remember when i was working for her and uh i think she fired me for my, for, uh -oh, for uh -oh. my but see i've been knowing Ebony for a long time though <laughs> you know every family so um with family you got to learn wrong yeah, too. yeah you know yeah. you can't just always uh think that you can family and get and finesse and think you're gonna uh -huh. buy uh -huh. but I, since she told me to never and wow. I teach people now. Oh wow! She said three people. She said people who learn from mistakes, people who learn from other mistakes, and people who don't learn at all. Oh, and that resonated me for a long time. And now, oh, Ebony I dropping jewels. I understand. I understand it now. I love it. So, amen. So Shout you have Ebony. learned. Yeah, I did. Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> I, did. I did. I did. I did. Sometimes things happen to us we we sometimes take them as their punishment right, and right. usually their opportunities opportunities to grow advance excel you know whatever you want to call it and i'm grateful that you've taken it in that light and you didn't become bitter but you became better you became know better. um and so shout out to ebony for even taking she said yes uh shout out to you ma'am take a step to because that's a tough thing to hire someone that you can Oh yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean. So it was difficult for her as well, and so that's a, that's a, I'm sure that was something that she learned from as well and gleaned from. So it's, I'm grateful that you guys are still able to maintain a good relationship oh, as a result of that. Absolutely. So shout out for dropping jewels I'm to dropping Ebony Bell Jenkins. Ebony all right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. 
let's talk about this song. Let's talk about this album. But before we go into it, let's talk about voting. Voting. Uh, we're in our runoff for our uh, runoff election senator between Herschel Walker and Reverend Rafael Senator Warnock. What say you, the people? Does voting really happen from the people? Do we really have a choice and a voice in who comes in our offices politically? Are we really choosing the people? No. I say no too. I say no because if you can steal an election, if you can purge voters, if you can suppress voters, if you control who we get to pick, I say we don't have a choice at all. They just, I feel like they do that I, to make us feel It's good. an illusion it's to good. feel like you're making a difference when you're really not and, you're in, and it's distracting you from the real issue, which is there is a power to be that controls everything. They, for generations, like, and I said this to somebody's page, they, they posted something today. And, and I said it on their page, and somebody else said it too. It's like, look, voting is an illusion. And since they stole the election in 2020, she just said she feels like one of voting. Yeah. Because we don't choose, and it's not a selection no. process. No. So we don't get to elect them. So why do we think we're selecting see who's what? been elected? They choose it. These things have been for, for hundreds, hundreds of, of years. years. They already know who lining up. Countries do not become successful the people who are voting for people in offices that are running for these offices they come successful because they plan hundreds of years in advance mm -hmm. before us yes. things have been planned and I know this sounds like conspiracy theory but it is it's a it's a conspiracy and i just am done with the situation i'm just like i'm done with the situation and i know this sounds crazy to most people our people died to be able to vote and, and they died in vain sorry to say but yeah, they, did. they did sorry they did because if you're not able to take someone in your community that you feel will be better fit for an office and nominate them and they be a part of that election process and selection process then you're not, you're not. period okay <laughs> all right so y'all go ahead and run out there and God bless you. God bless the country. God bless. I have a bachelor's in political science. Why do you think they call it political science? It is an art. Mm -hmm. It's a science. It's a calculation. It's something that is given much forethought. It's not something that you just, oh, by happenstance. And yeah, there are people that run for local offices and they end up getting in and all this, blah, 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 blah. I get that. I'm talking about those areas that really make a difference. Mm -hmm. We're not. We're not scratching the surface. At all. This period. Um, so that's my two cents. We are going to go into our new book. Before we do, let's, let's talk about these songs. Let's talk about your new album. Oh, which, which, one, which, which one? Which one? To talk about? So we're gonna, before we go on our break, we're going to talk about, we're going to listen to the song you sent me. Oh, Time's Up. Time's Up. And then you have a new album coming out. So talk about this album. Talk about the album what first. can we? Uh, it's called "Sound the Alarm," Ooh. and God gave me Man. this album like I want to say almost two years ago. And, wow! And uh, I've been uh, going back and forth with myself on what should be on the album, and now I've come to a place where I'm like, okay, God, what do you want on the album? Oh, okay. And and <laughs> and I haven't released the album cover yet, but I, I have it. Um, but on the background of the album cover is a lion in the clouds, Ooh. and it's a it's a man holding a shofar with a prayer shawl, wow. blowing into the trumpet, and Ooh. he's sounding the alarm, and the wow. lion is metaphorically showing up in the cloud. Wow. And um, wow. God said it's, it, it, mm. it's time for the lion to come. You know, so so what I'm giving the people is the lion. No longer getting the lamb. Mm. You know, the lamb is long <laughs> gone. And too much of this soft gospel. Lord, it's time to get the this, this lion. Y'all finna get the heat because y'all need to hear it that way. 
That's how y'all like it. So you, that's what you're gonna get. Wow. So they're gonna wow. get the line. So it's gonna be Ooh. straight. Like it's gonna be like it's it's gonna be crazy. Ooh. You know, and I, I'm excited for the people wow. that I'm actually working with on this album too. Wow. As, so okay. Yeah, yeah. Can't tell us who. <laughs> oh yeah, um, one of the guys that um, I just we just uh, we didn't record it, but we practiced together. We was writing together, but his name is Crooked Smiles. He's I like that. His name, he's from New York. Uh, my boy, he, I call him. Uh, Shout out Cricket Smile. I, I call him. Uh, I call him Spiritual Notorious B.I.G. <laughs> sound just what? like him. He sound ju oh, tell you, man. just like him. I said, look, Biggie ain't do right with what he had. You go ahead what? and. What? <laughs> I love it. Sound just like Biggie. That's my boy. Ooh, yeah, Cricket Smile. Come through, Cricket Smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, he my got boy. the need to be sound yeah. like Biggie now. Yeah, he got. Yeah, he. Okay. He's official. All he's right, official. let's do it. Let's do it for the kingdom. Amen. So, Congratulations. Yeah. Sound the alarm. It's, my girlfriend and I were just having this conversation yesterday wow. about sounding the alarm. She said that's the kind of prophet I am. And and I I get that because when I study the prophets in the Bible and I hear the prophecies that they were giving, they are so different from the ones we hear today. Okay. No they cars. were talking about no cars, housing. First of all, someone saying, telling you you're going to get a house or a car prophecy mm -hmm. it's a promise mm -hmm. should you would prosper above all things and be in good health Amen. even as your soul prospers Amen. he said that you will eat the good of the land right he said that you he owns a cattle on a thousand hills and they're all yours to claim i've never seen so the land i never seen right or seen begging bread all the promises of y'all are yeah. yay and amen, amen. if you ask you shall what receive. receive if you knock it will be open if you see you will find it. If you're looking for a house, you'll get it. Come on. Hello. If you do what you need to do to get a house, that's the word of knowledge. That's not prophecy. That's not prophecy. Okay. Not prophecy is foretelling. Telling of things that are not yet here that are going to happen. Come on. You understand what I'm saying? Somebody people. tells you that something is going to happen to you, not you getting a house, because that's something you can do on your own recovery. Of your own volition. I'm saying when somebody tells you of something that can happen that you have absolutely no control over per se. That's a prophecy. Mm -hmm. I prophesied. I say this openly because they can attest to it. But I prophesied. And this is not about me. I just want to give you an example of the difference. I prophesied con the baby girl. I said is my niece, Aliana. Well, the, the daughter behind her. Her name is Journey. I prophesied her here before she got here in 2007. Wow. Her mom didn't even know she was pregnant. I told her she was gonna have a daughter. I told her when she was gonna have a daughter. I said, Aliana turns one, you're gonna have a daughter. Mm. And she didn't believe me. Mm. And she did. She, Aliana and Journey are 11 months apart. Wow. Wow. That's you understand what I'm saying? As in, like, I told her who her husband was. She was like, okay, you're crazy, whatever. Anyway, they've been married over 20 years now. Wow. I didn't even know I was a prophet back then, but I'm saying that to say there's no way you can be in the kingdom without understanding how the kingdom works. Amen. And this is why many people have itching ears and we're led astray because we listen to people that don't give us the truth. Okay, here's here's time's up to kill Thomas. Make sure you listen to this, download it, get it everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Something I'm just saying that I'm really mm. think about what you really want it. Don't be giving any for the people. Cause I've been working around the clock. I ain't never had a lot. Never had a lot. Jesus all that I need and Jesus all that I got. Let's go. Let's go. I ain't got no room till them times up. Time's up. Been through many things, made my mind up. Anything I done found love. Many things made my mind up. Can't count any 
anything out of What you mean, time's up? That sent me a reminder. Told me that tomorrow isn't promised. Eldest, youngest, make assumptions. Can I be a in this upon us? Jesus coming in glory and honor. Wait, don't even trip. Going in straight off the rip. Tight your shoelaces, don't even trip. Call to be Hamilton, cause it's been ripped. Just like a fetty, I hope you are ready for what we are serving. And you and through mercy and grace. The word is a real time. You are put in your place. Feel like I'm spelling out error because when I wreck it, you. And the first ERIC Screaming out doctor The doctor is Jesus He pumping his blood Inside your IV Restoring things The enemy stole King of queens You will make whole King of kings Lord of lords True definition of I ain't got no room Tell them time's up Time's up Been through many things Made my mind up Can't conquer anything I done found love Time's up Time's up Ain't got no room Tell them time's up Been through many things That's time's up. Hey, y'all got all the time in the world, but you don't. <laughs> you just bitch. I killed Thomas. Time's up. We're gonna be talking about his album some more. Sound the alarm. Come through. So he has some uh, voting guys can do to help him win. We're gonna talk about that platform as well in a few moments. We want to help him get there to the top. Y'all help Keep me. Riding. To the top. Hey, give it all you got. Give it all you got. <laughs> <laughs> She's lit today. Yes. She's lit. I am a music fan to the day. I wake, drink, eat music. Amen. I love it. I love it because I, I believe it's so close to God. It is. You know what I'm saying? Um, even when we work, a lot of times we think worship is like music. It's not necessarily music, it's the action mm -hmm. of something the uh reference in something so when i hear music that uplifts the soul i feel like that's just so close to god and who he is now lucifer has taken that supported it you know what i'm saying so it's our responsibility to restore that to bring it back to its Come original on, design bring it back to what it was designed to do which is to bring glory to god when you're doing something that other people are affected by in a positive way when you're exhorting someone else and you know you said something earlier I said we're going to talk about that you said that we are in competition and I'm telling you sir we go through the same thing all the time there are people who are in radio that do what I do would never extend their platform to me but they can call my show anytime because they feel as though uh, light in their light and I don't understand that I don't understand why if you have the ability like Jesus said to help someone else why you wouldn't if you had the ability to say hey I want to play your song I want you because you don't have a million followers you're not worthy of being on the show that's how they, that's how they look and at that's it. how it is that's what the world that's, sees that's how it is in, even in gospel you know how many preachers I have literally reached out to to come and speak at my conference that will just ignore or send back an astronomical amount of money and i'm like so are we now so caught up in the money factor that if i don't have thirty five thousand dollars you don't come speak to people? it's a business you understand what i'm saying and i get that we all need to make money and, and we can't speak to everyone but i'm saying as god elevates you you mean to tell me the people that are in the village can't hear from you because they don't have money. Not right. Or if there's not a camera where you're gonna get some notoriety, you won't do it. I, I don't I don't ever wanna be in that place. Amen. I don't ever wanna be that type of person. I, last month or back in October I preached at this church. Maybe about eighty people, hundred maybe. Some congregation. But I've also been where it was like twenty, thirty, forty people or eight people. Sunday last I think it was and this week I think it was like maybe 10 15 people but I did it as if it was 10,000 what blesses me is knowing that I did what God called me to do number one and number two 
everybody heard something. Amen. And and so for your music, it's the same thing. That's your pulpit. Your voice, your music, what you sing about. So you you said your favorite line in that song, "Times Up," was "Can conquer anything." I found up when I. So tell me about that line. Well, you know that line stemmed from, uh, you know, love conquers a multitude of sin. Yeah. yeah. You know it. Love, you can conquer anything. Mm -hmm. Love conquers fear. Love can conquer, like I said, love conquers a multitude of sins. Like, and I think love, and I'm actually in that right now because I'm actually supposed to teach Bible study at my church. Awesome. The 14th, I think. The 14th. Okay. So, and um, I'm talking about the fruit of the spirit, mm -hmm. and you know, the first one is love, and, and if, if the body of Christ is bad, and it wouldn't be so much competition, like you said, like it wouldn't <laughs> be so much, like because it, like you said, if it's not a matter of money, if you don't have the following or the cameras, then people don't want to come. But yeah. okay, so what's your intentions from the first place? Yeah. Was your intentions really to build the better intentions to build your own wealth? Mm -hmm. And that, that's what I don't like about a lot of these artists, people out here now, pastors, preachers, and stuff. And I just I go I, I walk away from stuff like that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because it, when God gives me the time to speak out on that. I'm coming. Yeah. You know, but uh And I, and I love that because um I think a lot of times we do get caught up in this world. Now to be in the world but not of the world. And that's a tough thing to do. It's a tough balance. It is distractions. You know what I mean? There are so many things that are constantly contending with our affections, attending with our loyalties, attending with our submission, our servitude. Like what are we truly serving mm. who are we truly serving um and you're not serving your fellow man i mean sure it says just a servant he didn't consider it glory, you know to be like us um i i wouldn't i wouldn't have been able to do it much as i love you i'm just i couldn't i wouldn't have been able to die for you i wouldn't have been able to take all 39 left. i'm just sorry i couldn't I have done it you. i would have got off that cross and tried to hurt like I'm just saying. <laughs> How crazy? Get Hello. Down. Get I would have fought for my life. I wouldn't have laid it down. Can I say real quick? Yeah, real quick. Uh, we, we. I was just talking about distractions, right? And you think about um the winds and the waves when uh, uh was Peter was crossing the water, right? right? Yeah, yeah. When he was when he was, when God told him to come and he was trying to cross the water. And he got distracted yep, by the winds yep, and the waves, yep, right? Yep, yep. And it's just like that today. Like, we get so distracted by the winds and the waves that we can't see. Yep. And just imagine if we was to really hear correctly and we would actually be stepping out on water on faith and walking and actually get to Jesus. Just like that's watching from the. Listen, keep it locked. We are coming back with our new vocabulary and we're going to let him finish this powerful word he was just giving us right after this. <laughs> baby shampoo because it's gentle on your baby's eyes. You make sure his toys don't have any sharp edges. You always test the bath water to make sure it's not too hot. You talk to do when the smoke alarm goes off. You make sure she wears a helmet when she rides her bicycle. You put on his sunscreen even when he's embarrassed his friends will see. You do so much to keep your child safe. But are you using the right car seat for your child? Is your child facing the right way in the car seat? Is the seat too big or too small? How do you know when it's time to move your child into the next type of seat? Car crashes are a leading killer of children ages 1 to 13. Your child's future at every stage of life. For information on the right seat for your child, visit safercar.gov slash the right seat. That's safercar.gov slash right seat. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Having trouble finding Connor's middle school? Would you like directions? No. Why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Finding lowest airfare to Istanbul. No, I'm, I'm tired of fighting with him over homework. Home, walk, restaurant. Need a review? No, I need help. He's very smart, but his mind it wanders. He's disorganized. I think I understand. Oh, go ahead. Finding best potatoes. 
fries. No! Rub it. Fingerling. You can't uh, hold. Why don't you understand me? Sorry, I was trying to show how Connor feels every day. Frustrating, isn't it? Redirect to understood.org. For the one in five kids with learning and attention issues, this is what life can feel like. Explore understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues. To help your child thrive in school and in life. Understood.org. Because understanding is everything. Brought to you by Understood.org and the Ad Council. Adopt US Kids presents Multiple Choice Parenting. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? How could she do this to you? And for Sheila, she, she has split ends. B, console her. Oh, sweetie, this is going to happen five more times before you get married. C, take charge. Gotta get this all straightened out. Keep a little talking to, man to man, mano a mano. Hey, Steve! Is now a good time? No? Okay, no problem. Bye. Or D, find a boyfriend. I know a great place to meet boys. The internet. Nice, single boys. Never mind. How about some ice cream? As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Of teens in foster care will look the same. Information on how you can adopt, visit adoptuskids.org. Public service announcement from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt U.S. Kids, and the Ad Council. People are always looking to invest in a good opportunity. So what if you could invest in the future of kids? Not the kind of stock that's about making money, but a stock for social change called Better Futures. With your investment, it helps students like me go to college. My name is Charles, and I'm your dividend. Invest in better futures with UNCF. Visit uncf.org slash invest. A mind is a terrible thing to waste, but a wonderful thing to invest in. Brought to you by UNCF and the Ad Council. Hi, I'm Viola Davis. Did you know that one in five kids in America struggle with hunger? Growing up, I was one of those kids. But we can solve this. When we make breakfast happen for kids in our neighborhood, we have the power to end childhood hunger, create bigger, brighter school days, and healthier minds and bodies. Go to hungeris.org and lend your time or your voice. We're hungry for more. A message from the Albertsons Companies Foundation and the Entertainment Industry Foundation. You use tearless baby shampoo because it's gentle on your baby's eyes. You make sure his toys don't have any sharp edges. You always test the bath water to make sure it's not too hot. You tell her what to do when the smoke alarm goes off. You make sure she wears a helmet when she rides her bicycle. You put on his sunscreen. He embarrassed his friends will see you do so much to keep your child safe but are you using the right car seat for your child is your child facing the right way in the car seat is the seat too big or too small how do you know when it's time to move your child into the next type of seat car crashes are a leading killer of children ages 1 to 13 protect your child at every stage of life. For information on the right seat for your child, visit safercar.gov slash the right seat. That's safercar.gov slash the right seat. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Having trouble finding Connor's middle school? Would you like questions? No, why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Finding lowest airfare to Istanbul. No. I'm, I'm tired of fighting with him over homework. Homewalk restaurant need view. No, I need help. He's very smart, but his mind it wanders. He's disorganized. I think I understand. Oh, good. Finding best potatoes for French fries. No. Russet fingerling. You can't uh, hold. Why don't you understand me? Sorry, I was trying to show how Connor feels every day. Frustrating, isn't it? Redirecting to understood.org. For the one in five kids with learning and attention issues, this is what life can feel like. Explore understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues designed to help your child thrive in school and in life. Understood.org, because understanding is everything. Brought to you by understood.org and the Ad Council. If you're looking for that ratchet... You're in the wrong place. It's the nation's urban internet station, Sensation Station Network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're back to the mix. Just like that. So make sure you share us with your friends at Not Dumb Down on Facebook or SSNDL on IG. More music. Glitch at SSNATL.com.
You use Tearless Baby Shampoo because it's gentle on your baby's eyes. You make sure his toys don't have any sharp edges. You always test the bath water to make sure it's not too hot. You taught her what to do when the smoke alarm goes off. You make sure she wears a helmet when she rides her bicycle. You put on his sunscreen. He he's embarrassed his friends will see. You do so much to keep your child safe. But are you using the right car seat for your child? Is your child facing the right way in the car seat? Is the seat too big or too small? How do you know when it's time to move your child into the next type of seat? Car crashes are a leading killer of children ages 1 to 13. Protect your child's future at every stage of life. For information on the right seat for your child, visit safercar.gov slash the right seat. That's safercar.gov slash the right seat. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Why is Connor having trouble focusing on Having trouble finding Connor's middle school? Would you like directions? No. Why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Finding lowest airfare to Istanbul. No, I'm, I'm tired of fighting with him over homework. Home walk restaurant. Need a review? No, I need help. He's very smart, but his mind wanders. He's disorganized. I think I understand. Oh, God. Finding best potatoes for french fries. No! Russet. Bling. You can't gold. Uh, why don't you understand me? Sorry, I was trying to show how Connor feels every day. Frustrating, isn't it? Redirecting to understood.org. For the one in five kids with learning and attention issues, this is what life can feel like. Explore understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues designed to help your child thrive in school and in life. Understood.org, because understanding is everything. Brought to you by understood.org and the Ad Council. Coming to Tampa Bay, I said we want to win the Super Bowl, and I believe we will. From IamSecond.com, we came close, but never really did win that championship. Former NFL head coach, Dungy. At the end of my sixth year, I was fired, and it was the biggest disappointment of my life. Next year, I'm in Indianapolis, get to the playoffs, but get knocked out again. And for the next couple of years, it's the same thing. Everyone is saying, Colts are never going to win one. And I did wonder why didn't it pan out the way I thought it would. But I determined that I had to have Christ first and that everything else came below that, including my own desires. The next year, that ended up being our year to, to go to the Super Bowl and win it. And it was a wonderful feeling. Every decision I make, I'm going to make it through the love of Jesus Christ. And he got us to victory. I'm Tony Dungy, and I am second. Hi, I'm Amine. Sometimes starting a conversation with a friend about mental health can feel awkward. Support can make a huge difference. You know your friends best, so if you feel like something's wrong, trust your instinct and reach out. Learn how to start the conversation at SeizeTheAwkward.org. Brought to you by the Ad the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention and the Jed Foundation. Tampa Bay, I said we want to win a Super Bowl, and I believe we will. From IamSecond.com, we came close, but never really did win that championship. Former NFL head coach Tony Dungy. At the end of my sixth year, I was fired, and it was biggest disappointments of my life. Next year, I'm in Indianapolis, get to the playoffs, but not again. And for the next couple of years, it's the same thing. Everyone is saying, Colts are never going to win one. And I did wonder, why didn't it pan out the way I thought it would? But I determined that I had to have Christ first, and that everything else came below that, including my own desires. The next year, that ended up being a year to, to go to the Super Bowl and win it. And it was a wonderful Every decision I make, I'm going to make it through the lens of Jesus Christ, and he guide us to that ultimate victory. I'm Tony Dungy, and I am second. You don't usually get a stock from a 16-year-old, but I'm here to tell you about a different kind of stock. It's called Better Futures, a stock for social change that's not about making money. Instead, you invest to help students like me go to college. This is beyond a simple donation. It's the opportunity for America to invest in its kids and take an active stake in the future of the country.
the return on your investment isn't money. What you can back is knowing you protected our potential. So one day that potential can grow up to become surgeons and architects, executives and engineers. People who can change the future just by being a part of it. My name is Alicia and I am your dividend. Invest in better futures with UNCF. UNCF.org slash invest. A mind is a terrible thing to waste, but a wonderful thing to invest in. A public service announcement brought to you by UNCF and the Ad Council. Okay, we're talking about the end of the day, made from scratch, and my blood is like boiling right now because I just listened to this clip and I'm just like, I want to go my street committee right now, but. We are in our lay on the sofa moment. I'm going to stay on my task. <laughs> we are going, however, I'm going to give you guys this new vocabulary word for the second hour. You're going to get this word, okay? You're going to get this word. This word is obsequious. O-B-S-E-Q-U-I-O-U-S. It means attempting to win favor from influential people. Battery. Mm. Attentive, ingra ingratiating, or servile manner. Mm. Ooh, I think that a lot of people right now towards anything that speaks the truth. Okay? That's my five cents. Obsequious. Use it in a sense. You are smart. You are kind. You are important. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Obsequious. Obsequious. Attempting to win favor from influential people by victory. Mm. It's like brown nose. There are a lot of people that act obsequious man towards Oprah, Tyler Perry. You know what I'm saying? Just to get somewhere else in life. So then I'm going to flatter you. I'm going to make you feel good um, because I want favor from you. This is why people have a hard time speaking truth to power. Because it's not favorable. Talking about Jesus is not favorable. This is why executed. When you speak truth to power. This is why they didn't like Jesus. Jesus was like Kanye. And don't take it and say... I said, yay was Jesus. Because I said, right. I said he was like, like a yay attributes. back then. <laughs> because he would say things to people and folk didn't like it. It was the truth. He talked against the Pharisees and the Sadducees. He came and turned the tables in the church in the and church. said, you're a den of now. He rebuked Peter, his own disciple and said i rebuke you satan why are you calling satan because he was pushing a of satan which was to stop him from the course which was to die mm. he knew now think about it he had just come from 40 days okay. fasting why because he knew what was coming in his conversation in the garden he said lord let this cup pass from me but nevertheless not my will, but your will. Why did he want the cup to pass? It was tough. He didn't want to die that way. That was that flesh talking. Hello? That <laughs> soul crying out like, I don't want to. It's not that he didn't want to die. He didn't want to die that way. Mm. Back then, you didn't get shot in the head. Right. You didn't get injected. You know what I'm saying? Or get. Well, you, just, you got stoned to death. You got crucified. Uh, yeah. You let you up there for before you died you suffered yes, you were tortured yes, yes. he did not want to be tortured it's not that he wanted he didn't want to be tortured that's my prayer lord when i die let me suffer just let me go and, you know get my crown okay I'm trying to tell you. i don't want to feel pain Anybody who would naturally want to just say yep i'm gonna get all these lashes give them to me crazy madman mm. and so here are and and on my 
in our mind for healing. The only way we're going to heal is that not only that we know the truth, but we agree on what the truth is. Everyone has their own depiction and perception of what the truth is. Everybody. This, my truth is this. I'm speaking my truth. What do you mean? There is no, you don't have a possession over truth. truth. There's only one truth. And truth is not always fact. Sometimes truth opposes actual things. Okay? And so we have to come to a place where we understand what is the truth. Fact. Facts we're slaves in this country. Fact. Yeah. Truth of the matter is, are we really a minority? Is that the truth? It's, it's a fact that we're told that we are, but we're really not. Not if we're spending $1.5 trillion every year. How can a minority be a majority in spending? That doesn't make sense, does it? Does it make sense to you? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. all right, what you got? What you want to say? Look. <laughs> all right, let us say that. Listen, we're going to be talking about this Kanye clip. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When we come, we're going to talk about how we can vote for Shaquille. T- I'll lay on a sofa moment. When we come back, we're going to be in our street. Word on the street, current events, topics right after this. Keep it locked right here. Go ahead and take it. It's about to be lit. Lit. Adopt US Kids presents multiple parenting. Do you accidentally cut your daughter's bangs on Do you A, line up a centimeter from her hairline? Man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. No, 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 no. Bands are so right now. Everyone's wearing them. Like that basketball and that other basketball player. B, get spiritual. Mom, where did all the mirrors go? A reflection never capture our true selves. Huh? Beauty is in um. C, look on the bright side. Less time blow drying, more time texting. Or B, show empathy. Mom, you really don't have uh, twinsies. I kind of love it. (laughs) As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of in foster care will love you just the same. For more information on how you can adopt, visit AdoptUSKids.org. A public spokesman from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Adopt US Kids. The Ad Council. What is dedication? The thing that drives me every day as a dad is Dariana. We call him Day Day for short. Every day he's hungry for something, whether it's affection, knowledge, and there's this huge responsibility in making sure that when he's no longer under wing, that he's a good person. I want him to be able to sit one day and go, we worked together, we did a good job. That's vacation. Find out more at fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Probably okay to have one more drink before I drive home. <sighs> Probably okay. I open the window to stay alert. Probably okay. I just pop some gum in my mouth. Step out of the car, please. I probably made a mistake. Probably okay isn't okay when it comes to drinking and driving. If you see a warning sign, stop and call a cab, a car, or a friend. Buzzed driving is drunk driving. A message brought by NHTSA and the Ad Council. Major key alert. Life is like school. You will be tested. Pass it. Learn the real major key to college at getschool.com brought to you by get school and the ad council indoor baseball anyone <laughs> most party fouls are pretty dumb but if you decide to drink and drive underage you could lose your license and your freedom learn ultimatepartyfoul.org brought to you by the National highway traffic safety and the ad council ssnatl.com you use tearless baby shampoo because it's gentle on your baby's eyes you make sure his toys don't have sharp edges you always test the bath water to make sure it's not too hot. You taught her what to do when the smoke alarm goes off. You make sure she wears a helmet when she rides her bicycle. You put on his sunscreen, even when he's just his friends will see. You do so much to keep your child safe. But are you using the right car seat for your child? Is your child facing the right way in the car seat? Is the seat too big or too small? How do you know when it's time to move your child into the next type of seat? Car crashes are a leading killer of children ages 1 to 13. Protect your child's future at every stage of life. For information on 
in the right seat for your child. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat. That's safercar.gov slash right seat. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Council. Why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Having trouble finding Connor's middle school? Would you like directions? No. Why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Finding lowest airfare to Istanbul. No, I'm, I'm tired of fighting with him over homework. Need a review? No, I need help. He's very smart, but his mind wanders. He's disorganized. I think I understand. Oh, good. Finding potatoes for french fries. No! Russet. Finger lick. You can't uh, hold. Why? Do you understand me? Sorry, I was trying to show how Connor feels every day. Frustrating, isn't it? Redirecting to understand.org. For the one in five kids with learning and attention issues, this is what life can feel like. Explore understood.org, a free online course about learning and attention issues designed to help your child thrive in school and in life. Understood.org. Understanding is everything. Brought to you by understood.org. The Ad Council. Indoor baseball, anyone? <laughs> Most party fouls are pretty dumb, but if you decide to drink and drive at your age, you could lose your license and your freedom. Learn more at ultimatepartyfoul.org. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Coming to Tampa Bay, I said we want to win a Super Bowl, and I believe we will. From IamSecond.com. We came close, but never really did win that championship. Former NFL head coach Tony Dungy. At the end of my sixth year, I was fired, and it was one of the biggest disappointments of my life. Next year, I'm in Indianapolis, get to the playoffs, but get knocked out again. And for the next couple of years, it's the same thing. Everyone is saying, I'm never going to win one. And I did wonder, why didn't it pan out the way I thought it would? I determined that I had to have Christ first, and that everything else came below that, including my own desires. The next year, that ended up being our year to, to go to the Super Bowl and win it. And it was a wonderful feeling. Every decision I make, I'm going to make it through the lens of Jesus Christ. And he got us to ultimate victory. I'm Tony Dungy. I am second. You use tearless baby shampoo because it's gentle on your baby's eyes. You make sure his toys don't have any sharp edges. You always test the bath water to make sure it's not too hot. You taught her what when the smoke alarm goes off. You make sure she wears a helmet when she rides her bicycle. You put on his sunscreen, even when he's embarrassed his friends will see. You do so much to keep your child safe. But are you using the right car seat for your child? Is your child facing the right way in the car seat? Is the seat too big or too small? How do you know when it's time to move your child into the type of seat? Car crashes are a leading killer in ages 1 to 13. Protect your child's future at every stage of life. For information on the right seat for your child, visit safercar.gov slash the right seat. That's safercar.gov slash the right seat. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Having trouble finding Connor's middle school? Would you like directions? No. Why is Connor having trouble focusing in school? Finding lowest airfare to Istanbul. No, I'm, I'm tired of fighting with him over homework. Home walk restaurant. Need a review? No, I need help. He's very smart. But his mind wanders. He's disorganized. I think I understand. Oh, God. Finding best potatoes for french fries. No! Russet. Fingerling. Yukon uh, Gold. Why don't you understand me? Sorry, I was trying to show how every day. Frustrating. In it, redirecting to understood.org. For the one in five kids with learning and attention issues, this is what life can feel like. Explore understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues designed to help your child thrive in school and in life. Understood.org, because understanding is everything. Brought to you by understood.org and the Ad Council. He was the heart of your family, and he taught you our history. He helped you fix your first flat. He was the best backyard DJ around. Every time he'd tell a story, he'd own the room. But now more than ever, he may feel alone. Today, older adults and their loved ones are struggling to connect in a time when connection has never been more important. But there is something we can do. Embrace our loved one through StoryCorps Connect. With StoryCorps Connect, you can honor seniors remotely with an interview about their life. Every interview will be archived at the Library of Congress, becoming part of America's 
so that years from now, future generations can listen in. All right, Grandpa, what's one piece of advice you have for me? Just three words, sweetheart. Live with courage. The man that had the best stories still has plenty of stories to tell. So connect virtually and share the conversation of a lifetime at storycorpconnect.org slash AARP. Connect, honor, share. StoryCorps Connect. A message from AARP, StoryCorps, and the Ad Council. Yeah, straight no chaser for real. Real concerns, real people in the building. I am for the hour. That means what I say, feel, and aren't, aren't bold enough to say it. Basically, that's what that means. <laughs> We're still in the building. Kill Thomas, the gospel hip hop artist extraordinaire, father, husband, servant to the kingdom, servant to the most high God. Yah, we love it. So you have to come up. We are in our street committee. We're going to go right is yay conversation but before we do we want the people to know what they can vote for you on plat what platform they can vote for you on what's that voting about it's it's about uh of the year all right and um i got on i submitted my video on there and it's funny what's it because what's uh it brink TV. brink brink tv break like break b-r-i-n-k oh brink like the brink. Brink. yeah brink so all uh right. brink tv i submitted my video on and um i I did on it for two weeks, right? And the Lord told me to take my video down. It was eight weeks. But I made I made um, number four out of people twice. Okay. That submitted awesome. and stuff like that. People. But um, when the Lord told me to take my video down, um, I was kind of like, wow. He was just like, because you're still at a place where you want anyone to be heard. Ooh. He said, I need to be seen and I need to be Ooh. heard. And I, I took it down. And I had Wow. But why? Wow. Okay. He hit. Um, you submitted your video. The requirement was wow. to, for two weeks. So God still allowed me to be able to be voted as gospel artist of the year wow. on the platform without being on there for eight weeks. So I was, wow. I was, I was like, wow. So y'all can go on my Instagram link in my bio, and you'll wow. see at the top the TV uh, awards countdown. You click on there. And then there should be like three lines on the right. And then you click on there, you go to the awards, scroll down, you'll see artists. Um, it's just only two of us on there, though. Okay. Y'all vote for me. Come on, vote for Shaquille you know Thomas. That's brand new. Details, just hit me up. Hit him on East. Okay, so where are you on Instagram? I am I Thomas. And Shaquille is spelled S H A Q U I L E. Come on. Like. It was felt like that. It's Shaquille, like Thomas. Shaquille. Yeah. <laughs> Shaquille Thomas. Shaquille. Little Shaquille. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back. Shaquille Thomas. Now, what do you have a nickname you go by? Shaq. They call you Shaq. Yeah, okay. Shaq. Like being called Shaq? Yeah, yeah. I've been called. I've been called Shaq for since I was. Okay. Hey, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, had a real heated conversation. Uh, my <laughs> my producer gave me this video of Kanye West actually having a conversation on a platform with some guy named Alex Jones who's being interviewed and uh, the clip that I saw and I say clip because I didn't see the entire interview so I want to preface my statement by saying I did not see the entire interview but the clip that I saw was of Kanye uh, making a statement uh, in a comedic fashion he puts up this flag and he's basically posing the flag to be I guess white supremacist mm -hmm. or the Jews. I'm not sure which one because again, I only saw the. But he's saying next we're gonna kill family and then we're gonna kill da, 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 and all these other things he's saying. And I honestly listening to it, I was like, well, that's what they do. So what was wrong with what he said? He's telling the truth. He's exactly what they do. I got a scripture. It, okay, what is it? God will use the foolish things to confound, confound the wise. Come on now. It you look better. foolish. It looked foolish. But if you really listen, it was some. Speaking it, some he wisdom. was speaking some truth in there. Some truth. Okay. Yeah. I don't see anything with someone telling the truth. Right. Truth ain't never hurt nobody. You might the truth. If I come in here, just ate some garlic, and I like. 
with my garlic and y'all all say oh your breath is loud. and i get mad breath smell like garlic what hey, hey, right, okay right. so what am i why am i mad right. because you told me. right even <laughs> if it was the way you told me it still the truth. was the truth my breath smelled like garlic <laughs> and offensive to you like why are you mad I can't be mad at the truth. I say this even in real. Well, I just don't want to be married. Or I don't want this. Da, da, da. Good with that. But then don't get mad at my response. I don't want to date you. I want to sleep with you. X, Y, Z. Hey, if I got to respect the fact that your truth is you're not ready, then respect that I'm saying, I don't want to be with you. you want Why is it that you want? And my grandfather so eloquently years ago, he's always the sacrifice yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? i want to be like jesus oh like jesus no you because yeah. if you were you would be willing to die okay. and be persecuted exactly. but you're not the glory of christ and the power that he has. but you can't get it without dying hello is this On the theme that we've been talking about today, and we're going to put whatever is on his heart. I want we're wrapping up our last eight, nine have left on the show. It goes by so fast. It does. I mean, like, who thought two hours would go by so fast? Quick. Um, but I, I, I got to say this on, on the outro about Kanye West that Kanye does is methodical. I don't think. When anything haphazardly or flying by the seat. I think he's very strategic. I think he's very cognizant. Even though I believe know that he has some mental struggles. But I do not think that he's without awareness of the consequences of what And that may sound contradictory. Because to be crazy and out of your mind means that you're not really aware of the repercussions. I get that. But I believe wholeheartedly there's something in him. There, there's, a, there's a monicum of cognizance in him that allows him to make decisions because everything he does, he ends up winning. When he came out with the gospel thing, everybody a revivalist. He going to be the next, you know, Jesus. And I was like, well, this is what God said to me about that. And I've said this several times publicly. God said, be careful. Because confession is not conversion. Mm. A lot of people confess Christ. Many people go oh, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Jesus. Well, what Jesus? There's a lot of false Christ out there. So which Christ are you really? <laughs> Let's be careful. Let's not be so quick to downtrod in the truth because we don't like the way it's being presented. Come on. Let's be open enough to hear the truth and the responsibility of hearing the truth have a responsibility to respond to the truth so for all the Caucasians even the Jews and everyone else out there who has a problem with the truth you have a responsibility if in fact something is wrong with what Ye just said about you canceling him how about don't cancel him then how about stop killing people how about stop murdering blacks how about give us reparations how about give us equity in this country how about that? Hello, is this thing on? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> if you got a problem with the truth, then that means that you're not willing to facilitate the truth if you have a problem with it. Or you just don't know, you don't know what the truth is. You've been feeding yourself lies so long that that's all you eat mm. is lies. And you don't recognize what the truth is. Mm. My grandmother used to say all the time, you a lie and the truth ain't in you. <laughs> that means you can't even speak the truth if you know who table you eat. Hello, from. Lucifer, the father of all lies. You know, cooking up the cooking up those lies, and you guys are eating them up like like it's the truth. It's good, boy. Eat it up. And you you eat. 
and it's good food. And it's like, no, it's not. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Stop eating. All right. Okay. You got anything you want to give the people? Uh, just want to <laughs> let everybody know uh, that uh, it's time for everybody to to start back serving again. You yeah. know, yeah. and serving with love and and, and here you on your job, you should Absolutely. be serving. Absolutely. And uh, the wisdom I got from uh, my spiritual father is when you work, you're not working unto man, you're working unto the Lord. Absolutely. And everything that you do, you should be doing unto the Lord. Yes. Whether you're giving, um, whether, like you said, you're at work, whether you're uh, for your family, it should be, it should always glorify God. And, and I'm realizing that everything I do, I want to glorify God in it, even when mm -hmm. I'm on that not just a concert. Amen. Love it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's to experience the Lord. And I, I just Amen. thank God for my service Amen. that he has given me the heart to serve. Amen. Amen. He's just a servant. I'm just a servant. <laughs> That's all I am. Follow at IG at I am Thomas. Thomas. T-H-O-M-A-S. I am Shaquille Thomas on Instagram. Go to BrinkTV.com and vote. Vote. Gospel Artist of the Year. Please vote for click, me. Click, 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 click. Thank you so much for being with Thank us you. this morning Thank and you afternoon. For me again. I mean, he was early, y'all. He beat me here, okay? Love it. Listen, remember everything you say and that will be read when you are gone. So watch what you say and do. God bless you. I we out. Shout out everybody that listened in on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Art Gabriel, and Evangelist. We see you. Yeah. <laughs>